What are you gonna do? What's your name? Jasmine. What are you going to do? Uh, wake up seven. How old are you? Seven. Hello, my name is Connor, and, and I'm going to wake up Santa, and, my, and I'm five. My name is Baden, and I'm going to wake up Santa, and I'm five. Both of us are. I'm five, too. Young man, what are you going to do? What's your name? <laughs> How about you, young lady? What's your name? Sariana. How old are you? What are you going to do? Wake up Santa. Okay. What do you want for Christmas? A dollhouse. Okay. Girls? What's your name? Yeah. Kylie. What are you going to do here? Wake up Santa. <laughs> All together. <laughs> oh, she ain't going to talk. You see, I'm going to wake up Santa too. <laughs> so I'm Jaden, and I'm two, right? <laughs> Hi, young lady. Hi. What's your name? Trinity. And what are you going to do here? Wake up Santa. And what do you want for Christmas? Barbie. Barbie? What else? Games? You don't know, huh? The games. Now what's what's my, your name? My name is Lainey. Lainey? That's a nice name. What are you going to do here? Wake up Santa. Okay. How old are you? Seven. Seven? Wow, oh, we. Oui. Hi, young lady. Oh, what's your name? What's your name? Audrey. Audrey? That's a nice name. <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? Um, a, a Barbie dream house. Hi, young lady. Hi. What's your name? Grace. Yeah. And what do you want for Christmas? You don't know, huh? No. Too many things. Too many things. <laughs> Too many things.
Now batting for the Brewers, number eight, Ryan Braun. Okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Occupy Memorial Mall. I mean, wake up Santa. Oh, let's move it over. A lot of people see Santa, don't we? There we go. I'm Chip Ramsey from Lake 98.1. Glad y'all made it out today. How's everybody doing today? Good! Ah, oh, you must all be tired because I really didn't hear that. I'm old. I have bad hearing. How you doing today? Good! All righty then. All right, so what are we going to do today while we're here? We're going to wake up Santa. All right. In a little bit, I'm going to read you towards the night before Christmas, but I think to get everybody warmed up and fired up, yeah, they're not warmed up and fired up, uh, to get you guys all warmed up, we're going to sing a song. Who knows the words of Jingle Bells? Yeah. All right, as a count of three, and a one, a two, a three, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to fly in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. All righty then. Nice job. Give yourself a round of applause. Yay! All right. I am now going to read to you from the book, Twas the Night Before Christmas. You must be quiet to hear the words. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even. This, if you know, if you know it, feel free. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that soon would be there. In the words of the great late Paul Harvey, page two. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of danced in their heads. Kind of like Mad Libs. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, Tore open the shutters, threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. What, what to my wondering eye should appear? Miniature sleigh and? With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. And he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Let me hear ya. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, and Blitzen. And come on, Rudolph. Wait, wait where'd that come from? Yes, come on, Rudolph. Okay. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away. Dash away. Dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys and two. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around down the chimney, came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of... 
He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk, his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the... He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, All right, give yourself a applause. Okay, now here's the deal. You know, Santa works really hard on Christmas. I mean, he works really hard. He works even harder than your dad in the garage on Sunday. So he's, he's a busy guy, or your mom on Thanksgiving Day. All right, so he works hard, so he's kind of tuckered out. So our job this morning is we have to wake Santa up. Now, did anybody bring like a noisemaker or something? All right, let's practice. Let's uh, let's do like, I'll tell you when to stop. Like that's gonna work. I'm gonna tell you when to stop, but everybody kind of get your noisemaker warmed up. Stop. All right, sounds like a little cup in here. All right, let's try again. then all right now we're gonna try doing this and I don't know you know he's 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 sleeping pretty sound how many of you guys have uh, dads that uh, you know fall asleep on the couch during the Packers game on Sunday and sleep like this yeah do it all right so here we go when I count three everybody's gonna yell wake up Santa all right one two three Let's try Wake Up Santa one more time, okay? One, two, three. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's obviously gonna work. All right, let's try it one more time. One, two, three. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some help here. I obviously can't do this by myself. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, you right there. There. Okay, the, the nice lady will uh, like, help you off here. Donna's gonna help you off. All right. Hi there. What's your name? Cabella. Connor. How old are you? Five. And where do you live? In the trailer park. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Uh, Connor, what school do you go to? Kindergarten. Kindergarten, that a boy. All right, Connor. All right, here's what I want you to do. You see this? When I count three and say, we, we all do wake up Santa, you kind of stand over Santa and ring the bells and see if that helps, okay? Don't get too close, though, because you, you may wake up with a start and hurt you. So right about there is good. All right, ready on three. One, two, three. All right. All right, I got one more. I got one more trick that may work. Somebody told me. Somebody told me the other day that sometimes if you want to wake somebody up, and this will work with your dad. And try it, uh, kids. Listen, the next time your dad's asleep on the couch during the Packers game, here's what you do to wake him up. What you do, take that feather there, Connor. All right? 
Now, when I count three, I want you to walk up to Santa Claus and tickle him under the nose, okay? Okay. Let's go over here, buddy. Let's come over here. I heard if you take a feather and tickle someone under the nose, that wakes them up. I also have a few other tricks, but I can't share them with you. Okay. On three. Let's get it done. One, two, three. Connor, Don, I'll help you down. Thank you very much. How are you, big guy? Oh, I think I slept too long. Yeah. My goodness. How is everybody today? Uh, are you ready for Christmas? Yeah! Well, I got to start with a song. And say it blows. All of the other reindeer, reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph, Rudolph. join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my son tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him, loved him, as he shouted out with glee. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, reindeer, you'll go down in history. Santa Claus! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. It's just wonderful to see you all here. Did you come to see me? Yeah. Oh, I feel so important. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming to see me. All right, and uh, Santa's going to be uh, where down it real soon. He's going to be. Uh... Oh my! Okay. Where? See Santa. See Santa. Justin? Justin? What do you want for Christmas? What's that? A train. Oh, like Thomas the train? Yeah. What else? Another one? Yeah? You like trains? And a train? Yeah. Two? Okay. I just did pictures today. It's just going to be busy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I told them one thing. Oh, Pokemon toys? Oh, just like Pokemon? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. We're not getting pictures today.